sometimes keeping your faith. I'm like, I really fail. I really do. Because it's like really hard. Trials, oh my God, in life. Problems, stress in life, anxiety that I constantly have. Oh my goodness. It's like, I'm so sorry. I try, Lord. I really do. It's like, but life is. One problem after another problem after 10 more problems. And it's like, you got to be kidding me. How many problems can life have? <laughs> and then it's not only your own problems. It's going to be your, your partner's problems, your child's problems, your mother's problems, your family's problems, you know, the world's problems, your animal's problems. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, there's too many problems to handle. And that's why I'm like, okay, Jesus, I can't wait to be in heaven. I don't want to do this. Please get me out of here. But you know, he's worth it. Even though he's fussy with mama all this year. And he doesn't let mama sleep at all, really. For the past two days, we actually been going back to bed, though. It's been really nice. Thank the Lord. Because he's just busting one tooth after another. Right now, he's at a pause. He has uh, four. The fourth one's still popping through, though. Like, it's there, but it needs to come down more. So it's a, he's at a pause right now. He's gonna be ten months. Uh, yeah, ten months old soon. But yeah, Jesus, help us with problems after problems, huh? Shwee shwees, money issues, health issues. My brother's in the hospital in the tents of care. We're praying for him, and they don't know if he's brain dead because they won't give him a brain scan because he keeps getting fevers and he had seizures. But they calmed down the seizures, and now it's the fevers, and it's like. Oh my gravy, I pray for my brother. My brother's handicapped, so it's worse. It's COVID, so he can't see my brother. My mom's more, he keeps doing that lately too. Choking himself all the time with his fingers. And it, that drives me crazy. He keeps banging his head all over the place because he's learning how to walk. He crawls and of course he motors it, but he's learning to, he just rams himself into everything and rams his head into everything. And it's so stressful. It's like, please, Bubba, I really don't want to go to the hospital, especially at your age. And I see, I hate when he does this. Stop, Rodney. He stresses mama out. Exactly what I mean. <laughs> exactly one of my points right here. It's like, please stop. Don't. No. Booger butt. Oh, exactly what I mean. It was point, point taken. It's like, Lord, just help me not to have anxiety attacks all the time and stress. I just really can't in this life. It's like, oh, Jesus, if you don't have to worry about money, you have to worry about your family member dying. If you don't have to worry about that, it's going to be something else. Or your car is exploding. you got to fix it. And it's going to be $80,000. It's like, oh, my gosh, this life is too much. I just want to die and go to heaven. I don't see how people handle it. No wonder why adults drink all the time. Their excuses, I'm drinking because it's fun. Their excuses, they're drinking because they're stressed out and they're trying to get out of it. That's why adults drink. That's like the adult beverage of trying to get out of the way from their problems. That's how they escape. Uh, but I'm like, Jesus, just help me. Why is life one problem after another? Come on, Snow Babe, you gotta stay by mom. Snowy, let's go. Snow, come on. Because you can't be by the road by yourself. Let's go. Come on. And then my children don't listen to these dogs. <laughs> but I'm like, Jesus, you, the whole point of the whole Bible and being Christian is to keep your faith and trust Jesus. Even if you can't see an outcome or see something positive, it feels like everything's negative. We're all going to die and burn and crash and bah. But it's like, it's really hard, <laughs> especially for me. Thank goodness I have a friend named Lindsay and she's awesome. She'll pray with me. So that's really been great lately. Because I'm like, oh my goodness. And all I have is my mom to pray with. But obviously, she, I can, she's kind of weary right now. She's up and down because her brother's... Well, sorry. Her son, my brother, is in the hospital in the ICU. And she's trusting God and believes him, of course. And she loves God. But she's also heartbroken. He's in, you know, it's during COVID. So my brother might die alone. So what a living hell nightmare, you know? People are just like, Alicia, life's going to be okay. I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> Yeah, it's fantastic. It just keeps getting worse. Like my brother's in homes and all they do is overdrug him and that's why he's here. They overdrugged him having seizure after seizure. Yeah, like more than, uh, cause honestly, if he passes away, we're gonna sue the house and sue the state because the state, we told them that they kept overdrugging him and they didn't listen to us. So I'm just gonna sue both. I really am. I'm like, you guys didn't listen. And now if my brother dies because you, I'm suing them. I don't even care if it takes eight years. I'll be like, I'm suing you guys. That's just, 
you got you guys can't kill a handicapped person and just think they're not a human being just because you want to overdrug them to keep them calm and out of your way that's insanity but lord knows lord knows uh, oh but wouldn't that be great because if because uh, it's like it's terrible fight i fight for my brother but yeah and then and then we live in the worst state california like the only beautiful thing about here is the ocean and the mountains but i can't see the ocean because my boyfriend never wants to take me number two we can't go to the ocean because we don't have our shots and they probably won't let us eat anywhere but i really miss the ocean so much but i love my partner he's been really much better he's getting there but you know i wish you would just like take me and the baby sometimes even though that'd be a living hell nightmare drive because my kid won't relax in a car seat he's like the exorcist baby oh my gosh it's hell putting my child in a car seat where like my kid loves drives i'm like my kid will fall asleep during drives sometimes but after that he's like a, a gremlin child oh my gosh it's like the exorcist it's like he hates his car seat and he keeps choking himself this is what i mean stop ronnie don't bubba you need to stop that use your use your bad game games bad game games you ready for your nap you got a booger i can't get off let me see oh, oh, i gotta go pump anyways and let's put you down for a nap lord jesus how this baby take a nap so i can make a sandwich and try to not de-stress right now <laughs> like i said i'm trying to keep faith jesus this fight so hard on this planet especially since i need to be in church have more people to pray with because i'm like like life's a living hell nightmare but one day at a time right yay yay but i do love this boy my son he's just a good man <sighs>